Barakatu. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve the practice questions on Snell's law. <clears throat> now, Snell's law. It's N1. This is the, pro the formula we're going to use. It's sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. So if you have if you have a laser ray and you shine this laser ray on a surface that separates that separates two media. First medium it could be air, other medium could be water, glass, or any other material. We can draw a perpendicular line. Imaginary perpendicular line, we call it the normal, it's imaginary line that perpendicular to the separated surface. And here we have the laser line, the laser ray. The angle of incident is the angle between normal, this is we call it the normal, and this one is the incident ray. So this is theta one, what will happen to this ray? It will refract, bend. Now since ray, it's moving from, from air, air, and we said before air, the, air, the, uh, the ray will move faster in air. The speed of light in, in air is around three times 10 to the power eight meter per second, okay? So when the light goes to another material, this speed will be less. So it will bend a little bit toward the normal. OK, so here the light will go from fast media like air to slow media like water or glass. So what will happen to the ray? It will bend toward the normal. So fast to slow toward the normal toward the normal that means this line will be small so here the air index of refraction for air is one index of refraction for water is 1.33 so n1 is less than n2 and the angle theta one will be greater than theta 2. If I have the opposite, if I'm inside water, this is in normal, and I have a laser ray, this is in normal. Razor ray, I shine this laser ray from water. Now I'm going from water, this is my first medium, and to air, this is the second medium. So here I have a light will hit the medium, the surface. This one, the angle of incident, theta one, it's between the incident ray and the normal, okay? The light will bend away from, from, from the normal, away from the normal, theta two. Why? Because the speed of light in air will be fast. In water, the speed of light is less. So I'm going from slow to fast, slow medium like water to fast like air. The light will bend away from the normal. So slow to fast away from the normal. Remember this SFA, SFA, okay, or SAFA, you can, you can call it SAFA, okay? away from the normal. So here I have N2 is greater than N1. So theta, uh, theta 2 here will be what greater than theta 1. N1, sorry, N1 in one greater than in two in one greater than in two in one is air the first medium in two in one the first medium is water in two is the air so theta two uh, 
theta 2 will be greater or theta 1 will be less. Theta 1 will be less than theta 2. Fine. First question we're going to solve. You have a ray. A ray of light that passes from air. Air, so this is my first medium into cubic zirconia. This is my second medium. Okay. Index of refraction for air is one. Index of refraction for the second medium is not given to me. I don't know it. At an angle, so this is theta one, the angle of incident. So theta one, it's 46.9 degree to the normal. The angle of refraction, so this is my theta 2, will be 19.4 degree. What is the index of refraction of the cubic zirconia? So I need into. Just write the formula and substitute. So Snell's law in one sine theta 1 will equal into sine theta 2. N1 is 1, sine theta 1, theta 1 is 46.9, will equal into, I don't know, sine theta 2, it's 19.4 degree. I need into, so divide both sides by sine 19.4, by sine 19.4 into, if you put this one on the calculator, okay, let's do it on the calculator. I have sine 46.9 divided by sine 19. Point four, so it will be two point nineteen. This is the index of refraction for the second medium, which is cubic zirconia. The other question: <clears throat> Find the angle of refraction for a ray of light that enters a packet of water from air from air so from this is my first medium air and it enters to water so my second medium is water so n1 for air it's one n2 for water we know it it's 1.333 at an angle so it enters at an angle 25 to the normal so this is my theta one 25 degree and i need the angle of refraction angle of refraction is theta two so theta two we don't know it question mark write the formula and substitute so in one sine theta one will equal in two sine theta two in one for air is one sine theta one the angle of incident is 25 equals n2 for water is 1.333 times sine theta two i need to find the angle so divide both sides by 1.333 1.333. So sine theta 2. Sine theta 2. Let's calculate this one. Okay. So I have sine 25 divided by 1 point. Okay. I'll get a big number. I'm going to keep it. 1 point. 3, 1, 7, 0, etc. Now I need theta. Take sine inverse both sides. So I'm going to take sine inverse for both sides 
to find the angle. So theta two will be sine inverse of the answer. Shift, hit shift on your calculator and sine, and then the answer. So the, the angle will be 18.48 degree. Last question. <clears throat> you have a light of ray shown in the figure below makes an angle 20 degree with the normal. So I have here this angle here is a 20 degree with the normal. At the boundary of linseed oil and water. Okay. The angle here, this is a 20. And we know if you draw letter Z, this angle also will be what? Will be 20. This angle here will be 20. These alternate, these two angles are alternate interior angle. Of letter Z, the angle here and the angle here, they're equal. If this angle is a 20, this one also will be a 20, an alternate interior angle. So I need to determine the angle of incident theta when I don't have it. And N for the linseed oil is 1.48. So I have for, I have two refraction. First, light goes from air, from air to oil. So first, the light goes from air to oil. My first medium is air. My second medium is the linseed oil. So N1 for air is 1. N2 for the oil is 1.48. And I don't have theta 1, but I have theta 2, the angle of refraction, which is 20 degrees. So I'm going to write Snell's law and substitute. Here are the given. So I'll start solving. Snell's law N1 sine theta 1 will equal N2 sine theta 2. N1 is 1. Sine the angle of incident, we don't have it equals N2 is 1.48 sine 20. Divide both sides by sine 20 by sine. No, I don't need to divide actually. I'll keep it as it is because I need theta 1. I need theta 1. So I find the answer and then take sine inverse for both sides. So theta 1 will be equal to 30.4 degrees. Okay. Now I need to find the other angle here down. Theta 2. So the light now will go from oil to water. So I have to write the given again. So the light will go now. Light will go from oil till water. My first medium is oil, my second medium is water. So N1 for oil will be 1.48 and N2 for water is 1.333. Theta 1, it's 20 from the graph. Okay, I have the angle of incident here, this is a 20. And I need to find theta 2. I don't have it. Write the formula and substitute. So here we go. Solve it. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. N1 is 1.48 sine 20 will equal into is 
sine theta 2. Okay, I need the angle theta 2, so I'm going to get rid of 1.33, so I'm going to divide both sides by 1.333, 1.333. Okay, and then you take sine inverse for both sides. So if I find this answer, sine theta 2, I will get a number. Sine theta 2 will give me 0.379. It's a long number. I'm going to keep it as it is. Take sine inverse both sides. So theta 2 will be sine inverse of this answer. And this will give me 22.3 degree. This is the angle of refraction here in water. That's it.